I myself am Will Seven Eight Nine GB, and I'm I'm a resident on Twitter, as I regard it. I know it's called something else, but I think Twitter is sort of hiding in there. And there's an awful lot of um, uh, I think it is automated to some extent. I don't I don't think the scale. There's various opinions, um, but the 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 people I I sort of I don't I don't necessarily know them, but uh, you can find supportive views in in there amongst it all. Uh, anyway, um, I've taken a still out of the video, which is allowed because um, this is a bit of a diversion, but it's quite interesting. The 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 YouTube channel this came out of, which is called. Uh, JISC. It's an old JISC channel, but it's definitely Creative Commons. And the, the new JISC channel, the, the, the couple that I've found so far aren't Creative Commons. But the thing about Creative Commons is I could play it on the radio, and I may, I may play some of this on future uh, radio shows. But you can also take stills out of it and um, explain what's going on. Or you could take a clip out of it if you just wanted a bit in the middle of it. Um, so, it's a two-dimensional diagram. And so it's not only... Um, going back, if you've only just joined, um, I explained that there is a video, which I've tweeted a link to, about residents and visitors as an explanation of the identity of the online educator, which I think is much the same as how to operate within social media there's a lot more learning goes on in everyday life than um, some academics assume that's what it's what i reckon anyway um but there's another axis on this uh which is personal and institutional so some of the online presence that you might have is because you represent an institution or it's a personal view that you're putting out. And so um, fa Facebook, for example, on, on, the, on the World Show, we have a Facebook page, and I, I personally relate mostly to that page and a few other um, group things that have come out of various projects. Whereas I think um, JD and Chris are on involved in Facebook a lot more just personally. Um, JD most a lot of the time, I would say. I'll talk to him about it tomorrow during during the, the Wild Show. But this 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 diagram is quite quite interesting, I think, because the the other thing is it's about ten years old. From what I, from what I can make out, the um, the Future Learn course, which I thought didn't start till the middle of the month, but has a, I've actually got access to all of it, and I'm doing it in a different order. Um, it's it's available now, and it's the same as it has been for a while, I think. And these videos, these JISC videos that they they use in, according to YouTube, are about ten years old, um, but it still seems very very relevant to me describing what what goes on um and uh, the other thing i'm going to i am going to talk to chris poss possibly i'll see him la later today but i'll certainly talk to him tomorrow during the during the wild show between 10 and 12 about uh mapping this diagram to the studio because we did this with gibson burrell um a design book and he got very, Chris got very upset. He thought I was going to destroy the studio. I was going to um, re, re, retake the ceiling and the and the um, the carpet. And I, do, I wasn't wanting to do that. I just wanted to put labels on the four walls. It's just a square room. It's more or less a box. This this studio. But um, in terms of visitors and residents, there's an there's an obvious desk in the middle of it. So the residents are on uh, the side of the desk I'm on at the moment, where you can control all the uh, the buttons and faders and so forth. And the, the guests, obviously, are on the other side. 
Um, but also this personal and institutional, I think, relates to, for, we'll say on this side of the desk, I've got two, um, two computers. Uh, there's a, a myriad playout system which has been approved by the committee. I mean, that's a formal way of putting it, but it's, it's more or less the case that uh, as an organisation, however Phonic operates as an organisation, the tracks that are on that system are more or less what Phonic FM is likely to play. That's that's if you if you listen to Phonic when there's no presenter in this studio, that's that's what you get. And if people complain about it, it gets changed. Or if people volunteer to add tracks, it gets changed. Um, so let's say that's an inst- an, an institutional uh, database, whereas. Uh, the, the other the other side of the desk there's another computer which is connected to the interwebby and that can be more personal I, I can go for example I'm going to go quite soon to John's playlist which is based on what he's played when he's when he's been here on previous shows um, and that's on that's on YouTube but there's lots of other personal playlists exist that I could tap into on that one um, and I guess that I think on the other side of the desk, the thing the thing I can't work out at the moment is on in the in the visitor section. I think probably the um, the institutional bit would be on the other on the other side because the the personal bit is more likely to be a guest where it just happens to be where the door is. But um, maybe the easiest way of looking at it is in terms of microphones. If we say we've got four quadrants and four microphones, um, the two that I'm using, because these two computers are quite far apart, I'm I've, I'm I'm at the insta- I'm at the I'm at the resident end of it, and I've got an institutional microphone close to the playout system, and a personal microphone, which is one I'm using at the moment, uh, closer to the um, the interwebby one. If that's making if that makes any sense. I, I think all this mapping it only needs to make sense on the occasion. If you if you're about to have a conversation, the people party to the conversation just need to understand what the territory is or is supposed to represent.